It's a 2v2 team based fighting game. This means that Dude, teams of two players four can player face couch off together co -op is in the same be match so fun, man. with each player piloting a single champion. So we're building a game where you can play. Dude, oh my gosh, Riot is so genius, man. Riot is so smart. Oh my gosh, I just had an epiphany, man. With a little bit of a breakdown of what's going on today. Project L, some Project L footage was released. So we're gonna check out Project L. That's Riot's new fighting game. If you guys know anything about Riot, Riot is probably the best gaming company in the world at taking other people's ideas and making them better. <laughs> They're basically what Blizzard was 30 years ago. <laughs> They would just steal what everybody else does and then they just do it better. There's a lot of excitement around Project L and seeing what Riot can do with the fighting game. I mean, you see immediately, like, what is this? Is this Darius and Ari? So let's, yeah, let's just watch, right? This is this is some of the first footage that's ever come out with uh, Project L publicly. And then you can do kind okay. of like a, a wall bounce afterwards. That was a parry right there. What is up everybody? This is Justin Wong and we had the amazing opportunity to play Project L. Yes, they have, uh, Riot Games have invited a bunch of us um, to go to- I was invited, yeah, I was, I was. So I, just didn't, I just didn't go, I just didn't go, I just didn't go. I just didn't go. And let's get into the video. Yeah, I just you know, I just go. wanna say, like, again, big shout outs to Riot for, for giving us the opportunities. You know, it was like really cool <laughs> checking it out. And, you know, obviously videos familiar faces. Uh, that Dude, look at that. The game as you see on Twitter. What the hell? But, man, like, this game Starting now. was really sick. Like there was, there was so much to do within the games, and I just want to tell y'all. Obviously, we're gonna let the gameplay play in the background. Dude, this is crazy to look at, like, dude. Uh, the characters that we were able to play and everything. Uh, so obviously, there's Ari. Uh, you have uh, Echo, Echo, and Darius. So I played Ari and Darius majority of the time. And dude, really this is crazy. crazy. Before we get into that, let's talk about like some of the movement stuff. So obviously they talk about movement. It looks too really cartoonish. I kind of like uh, the, dude, I, jump, uh, I typically depth. don't like this kind of like cell shady sort of art style. I think it looks really good here. On a forward dash, obviously tap forward forward. I think it looks like really good. Like, like Ari looks sick. So uh, does Darius. Backward dash, uh, back to back. L and M, uh, you can run by just holding like tap forward forward, you just hold it. And then obviously you can wave dash like traditional Marvel 2 style like LM down, LM down, LM. So, oh, so, so it's like a tag team. It's like a tag team fighter. So the control schemes, uh, it's like you really like LMH, like light attack, medium like attack, tech and heavy tag. attack. Like tag and tag, Marvel versus uh, uh, then you also Capcom. you have a, a special one, which is like your, your, your specials, like your character special and special two. Dude, uh, can you so play four player? You special buns and then you can do uh, two moves usually within each special. So you have a neutral special and then you have a directional special for each one. Uh, some characters dude, have Dude, if you can play four player, that'd be two, sick, so dude. That'll dude. Do, like different stuff. Couch well co-op well. four player? Um, then you also have the tag button. So your tag button is is also your assist. So you, if, you, if you just like, press tag, uh, you do like a tag. like, And then if you just press tag in general, you do a tag Interrupt. launcher. If you hold tag, you do like a quick tag. There's right? something I don't like about the UI, tag, but it's it's not. Uh, I mean, the game's not done yet, one. right? If you do back tag, you do like their assist too. So you could do two assists per per character and everything like that. Right? And obviously, what you just saw it's that was placeholder UI, okay, like okay. retreating guard. And retreating guard is so interesting because retreating guard is literally a reverse version of push block. Where like you actually put yourself in the corner by retreating, but it is it loses to lows. So if you think somebody's just mashing retreat guard the whole entire time, you can just clip them below and you actually stop the retreat. And then there's push block, but push block in general is actually more expensive. It's a really really good push block, not one of those push blocks where you're like you can negate everything. And it has. I don't know uh, what half these words Justin are saying mean. Uh, you have to spend the bar. You you have to spend one bar to get the push block out, which is pretty expensive, right? Uh, then you have parries, so you obviously have a standing parry and a low oh, parry. parry. Okay. Uh, parries are, are kind of like where it's like Street Fighter Five, like Ryu. Think of it. It's like you just throw it out, and if it you know succeeds, then you get a punish. Um, so if it does succeed, uh, it costs one bar to do. By the way, if I'll you be succeed, honest. You get your meter back. I will be honest you with you guys. Look at these animations. I think they're going way the hell overboard. I think I I think the these animations are they're they're too heavy, and it's too it, like it's too hard to actually like see the animations of the yeah it's way too dank, 
Like this is not, I, I feel like in a fighting game, like it's cool to have like cool animations, but like I, I want to be able to actually like see what the, the character is doing. You don't succeed. You're it's just not that bad, just really. In this animation, where maybe I'm just not used to it, but like, part, right? Um, obviously, you have get up attack. Uh, you just uh, hold S one. I, I feel like I can't see where Darius's axe is because I'm seeing this big swoosh. S two, and it's pretty much like kind of like a like a DOA wake up attack where you're just like you it grows under your eyes will filter uh, it. Yeah, loads. but I, I feel like it shouldn't even have to do that. Pretty much because what happens is what happens is somebody who's new. They might be put off by it immediately, even if they, because like if, if the barrier of entry to being able to watch and understand what's ha just just understand is like one hour, that's too much. It should just be like, like I should I should be able to the see what they're time. doing. Uh, so that's kind of your like I guess this is from like a new player, like for me, I'm like a, I'm like a fighting game right? noob, right? You can obviously punish and I think that. one of the biggest, so like like my perspective is I'm a noob, right? I'm new to fighting games, right? So my perspective comes from where most people are. Most people are really bad at fighting games. And, and the biggest thing like the fighting game community probably needs is they need their games to be accessible to new players, right? That's the whole idea behind the modern controls even existing in Street Fighter. People have been saying it for years. It's like, oh, like fighting games are dying, this and that. It's like you just have to fix the accessibility there of like being able to 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 – You've got to have this thing where there's a fine line between the barrier of entry being low enough for new players to come in, but the game also having enough like uh, technicality to it to where you have this feeling of progression at the top where there's a stark difference between the best and the best of the best. And, and I feel like that's like a general sort of line of thinking that all games should have. But uh, the problem is, is... For most fighting games, you that barrier of en you have the the second part that I was talking about. You don't have that barrier of entry being low enough. Um, it's almost the same thing with WoW retail versus classic PvP. I think it's a general thing in all gaming. Yeah, no, I think I think it's not just fighting games. I think I think that's like a good sort of like mentality to have with with a lot of games in general. Um, I I think when looking at this specifically, you uh, I I just it looks cool. I, I just hope that they tone down some of these animations uh, so, or some of like the, the effects so that I can see the animations. I can see the characters moving. As well, too. Uh, there's air recovery if you hold any buttons. Uh, and, the, and the only way for you to tell that you can do air recovery is when you see the combos. The combos uh, are like one, two hit, three hit, four hit. You know, as the numbers you see going up, they're, they're pretty much white. Once the number... Uh, be becomes like a black number where it's like that pretty much means the combo accessible games still is, die. Is, is well, all game all games die, right? Like die. All games die to the average viewer. You know, the average viewer is like, damn it, this game is dead. It's not dead at all. But they'll say like, this game is so dead. Blah blah blah. And it's like, no, it's not dead. If you have a bigger player pool to choose from, chances are more people will get through. Like if you if you put more water through the hose, then more water is gonna come out the other end. In, let's look at high school sports. In Texas, 5A football, or 6A football teams, right? 5A, 6A, big, big schools. 5A schools, 6A schools. They're higher population schools and they're put in a different bracket. The reason for that is because you have a bigger population of students. And because you have a bigger population of students, let's say 5% of the students are good athletes. Like 5% of 10,000 students is going to be way higher than a small school's uh, five percent of their a hundred students, right? So the idea is, is they're going to have more better players because there's more people to choose from in the first place. If you don't flip out that right time, then they can kind of continue to combo, which is kind of interesting. It's not like a, it's not like Skull Girls where you could just like burst at any given. Watch point. Max's uh, video. I want to watch both of them. Uh, and once you let go, then they perform their actions. So because obviously some assist doesn't have range, because like you know how like Marvel Two when you call your assist some full screen, they just do their move and like, bro, it's not going to hit. So with charge assist, you can make them run towards the opponent and then do their action. Obviously, they can be hit while in the process, right? And obviously, when you do your assist, anytime the, your assist is out, if you just hit the tag button, you do what they call a quick tag. And then pretty much it's very similar to like Power Rangers Battle for That was sick. A tag where you just tag in. You, where you tag in that character, and then that assist becomes the now new point character. Dynamic save. Uh, we saw that earlier. Pretty much it's your burst. Uh, the, 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 that meter below that bar of your life bar, that's your burst. And obviously, if you use it, you have to build it again. And right now, I do think it's pretty slow in terms of building it back. 
Um, so you gotta be careful about that, right? You have to really be careful about that. And then, dude, Ari looks people are wondering sick, about, man. Like, oh, do we have kind of like, you know, how does the combos work? So the combos are like, you know, LMH special. There's also links. Darius is really good with the links, man. He could do like, he could do M, standing M, standing H, then forward S2, and then link after that. Go into a. Have they have they said what what characters you can play? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what's funny? You know what I just did? You know how in Street Fighter I keep calling the characters champions? Right then I almost said champions and I stopped myself from saying champions and I said characters, but in this they actually are champions. Into your podcast <laughs> so, that you are using podcasts, my brain, dude. You make my brain got messed up. Okay, these so actually are podcasts. champions. Dude, I'm so excited, man. Project L is going to be sick, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep clicking through this video. Punch, right? Cause cause the thing is Justin is given like a super in-depth, like more advanced explanation. Dude, Different. also you know what else? You, I like how Justin explains things, even if I don't understand. I don't understand it's my fault that I don't understand some some of the things he's saying because I just don't know, right? But you can tell Justin explains things in the same way I do, where he I feel like he's talking about like this is this, 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 and because of all these things, then this. That you can tell, like I like, I like how he explains things because it's like very detail oriented. Your fuses will. I just don't. I just don't know what a lot of this, 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 or this is <laughs> because I'm because I'm a noob. Yeah. Different ways of playing. So you see the life bars next to the. You see where the next to the time you see those little emblems. That's fan. You have nice yeah, caps. Have that's weird because that's part of what I did today in my physical therapy, dude. You know what kind of freaks me out? And do you quick tag? And then you have the quick. Well, the I, just just watching the, the animations. So let's say you block that, then the person with the freestyle mode can actually do a second tag, and then can you boom, just get can right? you just then get double team the whole time here? Tag. Then you have the quick. I was over here. Can I just be? Can I get like stun locked into a double team? Quick tag. Watch it in 4K. Quickly block the other way. So let's say you block it's, that. It doesn't have 4K. Then the person with the freestyle mode. Can actually do a, a second tag, and so then, so what about boom, this? You can keep right? you can and keep juggling, tag, and then come back with the original character. So there's and then two that's that's his super art, like Louis, left right, left right, left right, right. So that's I would say that's really cool. Then there's I think the few I forgot the there was a red one, but I don't think nobody used the red one. I think that one's still being worked on. And I think what's really cool is that like you know I was talking to the devs and everything. They're saying like literally every day there's like a new animations are ass. I think the animations are sick. I think the effects are a little bit overboard. Balancing everything. Yeah, that's a double down. That's the super. I think the effects are a little bit overboard because the crazy part is like you can't do like actually. You can't. By the way, I said I think I said I think it's too much. I don't think it's way too much. I think it's like twenty percent too much. Every character has three supers. So you have a two level one supers, and how you do them is just do down down. Special, uh, special, special one button, and then the second super is down, down, special two button, and I'm pretty sure you guys can guess what level two is. Down, down, hit S one. Wait, and so, S2 so, at the same so time. it's confirmed that it is going to be basically modern controls. <laughs> is that there? <laughs> yeah. Sweet dreams. I really did enjoy this game at the time. Uh, they also ran a tournament, and surprisingly, me and Sonic Fox were in grand finals. Uh, Sonic was able to win. Sonic's so cheap. But what's really cool is that they... <laughs> <laughs> he was able to win. He's really cheap. Anyway. Already had <laughs> just like, on. all these different color schemes already. Like It wasn't just like two two colors. I like the fact that I was able to press... Oh, you know, dude, that, that, blue, like, uh, that blue armor Darius Darius looks sick. I was able sick. to do that, right? That was really cool. Um, so let's, let's talk about the gameplay. So Darius is probably the easiest character to play. He really reminds me of kind of like Marissa from Street Fighter, from Street Fighter 6, pretty much just like big tank character, big buttons, combos are super easy. And he has really good loops. You know, he has a get off of me armor DP. Uh, Dude, I want to do a stream with Justin where he, uh, he uh, teaches me Street Fighter stuff. Who else do you guys think is going to be in the game? Valorant characters? No, no isn't it just going to be League characters? What up, Goob? Link the list. Link lists. Flashback, computer science. Set? Oh, Set and Vi are probably in for sure. Jinx, of course. Katarina, Illawai. I hate this game. Rumored champions Akali, Braum, Blitzcrank, Ezreal, Garen, Lucian. Come on, where's Kale? That kind of hurt my thumb. Where's Kale? Frick. Karma? You're going to have Karma in this and not Kale, man? Come on. Then again, how do you play Kale? Kale as a zoner would be sick. Dude, look, it's just the freaking assassins and the 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 beefers, dude. Look, Zed, Yasuo, oh my gosh. T 
Timo, I will literally, I, I, I'm gonna, I hate this. Timo should not be in this game and Kale's not in this game. I'm gonna lose my damn mind if they put Timo in this game and not Kale. The problem is, dude, Riot does so much freaking marketing and damn bullshit about Timo. What's next? Are they gonna put freaking Twitch in the game? I was hiding! Like, <laughs> like what the, the Twitch is invisible and just like railing you from like 80 yards away. <laughs> select character, select screen. I like this, actually. Dude, Ari's design is sick. Darius is pretty cool. Echo looks pretty much exactly like Echo. I like Ari's splash and I like Echo, not splash, but like their portrait and I like Echo's portrait. Darius is okay. I like the different color options. Dude, Ari looks sick. The blue, the red, white, the green. Darius is pretty cool. I like Darius's blue that we saw in the video. They made Darius 10 years younger, did they? I think that Darius looks two, older. You get bleed. So because you have bleed, now you take chip damage off normal. It's gonna stop Craig me over Ari. I'm not Craig um, In general, but with the bleed, you can literally like do like crazy block strings like with Ari. You know, come in here with like a new, do a handshake tag or like DAC into it and just go to town with the orbs and you just do. Did he get chipped? With the bleed, you can literally like do like crazy block strings like with Ari. You know, come in here with like a new, do a handshake tag. Dude, I love DAC fighting games, it, man. And just go to town with the orbs and you just, I just do like massive shit damage, right? Um, so that's really cool about it. Maybe fighting games See, are my new grind, dude. Where he just did like double assist. But now that I don't have wow, now, now that I don't have like a, uh, anything super super that I want to like rank up in, in, in but using the wow or anything it else. Things so much better in terms of that, right? Yep. Darius has a has a has a uh, a wall bounce, which is really nice as well too. You're just a ranker, yeah, dude. I am kind of a ranker, that, aren't I? Like, like I love I love climbing the ladder. That's really a Vegeta. That's why I like Metal Gear Solid 3 so much. You know how Vegeta is in Dragon Ball, just really just wait. This super art is sick. Animation. Hey, look at that. that. That's a. I call that even though that's like a, they call it the cold start. That's really a Vegeta. Assist oh my god, dude! That, the freaking you know Vegeta Dragon Ball just really just clipped you. Look at this animation though. The level two super. Eh. But overall, I mean, I I really did enjoy just playing this. Mortal game. Kombat One, Tekken Eight. You know, this is nowhere near to be done. Um, you know, there's only three characters, um, and you already know League of Legends has so many different type of characters. Uh, but uh, they asked us for a lot of feedback, and we were able to give a lot of feedback. Like I was saying, like, oh, I don't like the fact that push block cost one whole bar. Like meter building was pretty slow. Like I think we, I think uh, at least in the start of the game, you should start with one bar so you can have, you know, a push block available for defensive mechanism. Because you know, obviously this type of game, uh, you can get mauled. You know what I mean? Like you can see that you can get mauled because retreating guard, e even though it's a reverse push block. As you, I, while you're doing, look at so you can see his. Oh, oh, oh no, it's a tag. He tagged you know, down. He's putting yourself okay. in the corner. So because you're putting yourself in the corner, obviously, eventually you have no room. You can to grind Metal Gear Solid Five, dude. I saw Chris Reagan on Twitter talking about uh, Metal Gear Solid Five. He just started playing Metal Gear Solid Five, and he's like in love with it. You know, to 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 back away from, and it loses to low. So if you like kind of like stagger of lows and everything like that, you actually just clip them from using retreating guards, right? Because that's why they added this. Uh, they added a button where, where you have three C. Right, three yeah, heavy, and there was a bunch of people right, in the comments saying that they heavy. they didn't so like it whenever it came out, but now they're it, playing it again launch, right? without like regular launch. What, what is the opposite of rose tinted goggles? I feel like the opposite of rose tinted goggles is like crap covered glasses, and I feel like a lot of people had that after Metal Gear Solid three and four going into Metal Gear Solid five. It's you do a sweep. So because if you hold it and you do a sweep and everything, <laughs> that <laughs> is going to change Except a that. lot. That's fan things. Wow, brain translates to fighters. I dude, I do, man. Cause, cause you're pressing buttons and like button combos. It's a lot like hitting your key buttons. Even like, look at, look at Lakari. Lakari was an MMO player. Lakari could be a statistical anomaly. Get all your WoW friends to play in a Street Fighter tournament to see if WoW transfers to fighting games. Well, I don't think it's about being good right away. I think it's how fast you learn. Cause also look at me. Cause everybody was saying I was learning like super fast compared to like most people that are new to fighting games. Dude, you know what would be crazy is if, if, is if we go to Evo and they had like a demo. But no, there's no way they would do that. Wait, there is? Wait, there's, they're gonna have a demo? Wait, really? Wait, where was that announced? I didn't see it anywhere. They literally announced it today. Dude, I, oh man, Evo is gonna be amazing, dude. I can't wait to go stream that. IRL streams at Evo, dude, the energy is gonna be nuts. 
Also, you know what else is cool about fighting games, dude? The community is like, the, the fighting game community, there, there's two parts to this that I've noticed. I feel like um, any game community is like this. There can, it can be like wishy-washy where people like really tune in for like something is going on, they all show up, right? But also, at least on Twitch, the fighting game community on Twitch is very welcoming to new players, like not toxic. Because they're like, thank God new people are playing the game. <laughs> and all, <laughs> I think that's what it is. Thank God new people are playing the game. And thank God if more people are playing the game that I can beat up on them and my rank goes up. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Uh, let's see. You understand. Hey everyone, guys. it's our favorite time of year. So we thought we'd check in and let y'all know what's happening with Project L. From the start of this project, we felt that if we were gonna make a fighting game, we needed to bring something new to the genre. We're investing in some big ideas that we hope will unlock new kinds of fun for fighting game fans. I'm happy to introduce one of those big bets for you today, which some of you have already suspected. Project L isn't just a tag-based fighting game. It's a 2v2 team-based fighting game. This means that Dude, teams of two players four player can face couch co-op is going to be so fun, man. With each player piloting a single champion. So we're building a game where you can play- Dude, oh my gosh, Riot is so genius, man. Riot is so smart. Oh my gosh, I just had an epiphany, man. With your friend. No matter what happens, Riot's, they will always keep making games that you can blame your teammates whenever you lose, man. They just keep blaming your teammates whenever you lose. It's not my fault. And then they keep playing, dude. Oh my well gosh. Against them. Dude, these I'm guys, I'm toss it man. over to Sean to explain how it works. Damn, that hurts. Maybe I just handshake and you jump Steve up and I after. teamed up against yeah, Max. Yeah, That's that. sick. Okay. Hit the spin. All right, it's gonna be cheap. Are you ready? Oh, you like that? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of clean. Yeah. You do love to see it. Y'all have no idea how long I've been waiting to talk about this. This is Clock, one of our game designers. Yo, what's up, everyone? Let's get into it. It's a person. Duo play works a bit like tag team wrestling. One player controls the champ on stage, and the other waits off screen for their teammate to find the right moment to tag them in. In our last update, we showcased some of our tag mechanics, all of which were designed from the ground up to encourage teamwork. Fog is Marvel's Sharing in victories, pass. defeats, performing combos Game's together, amazing on or saving your partner in a clutch moment I got you. are just some of the new ways you can experience the game as a duo. Project L will support 1v1, 2v2, and even 2v1 matchups. So don't worry, solo uh, players. You can still play as a solo tag team fighter and control both champs at once. Fight your own battles or bring a friend. The choice is yours. Time to throw down. <laughs> Whatever your setup, our systems are designed to feel fluid and rewarding for players on stage and off screen. And that starts before you even get into a match. Before the game starts, each team can choose to customize how their champs play together with something we're calling the Fuse System. With Fuses, you can choose between powerful synergies that change up your duo's playstyle and really allow player expression to shine. I want to talk about one Fuse called 2x Assist. This allows your team to throw out two assists back to back instead of just one. With each champion having two assists and some of them being chargeable, there is a lot to discover. But you can always change your fuse for the next match to find out what feels right. We're really excited for all the possibilities here and can't wait to see what you come up with. <laughs> team play is at the heart of Project L's design and the foundation of the game overall. Dude, Project L trash talk. We know it's a difficult design challenge to get right, but we spent a lot of time figuring out how to make duo play something truly unique and special for you all to enjoy and master. I'm sure you've got loads of questions, so keep them close, because I have one more thing to tell you all. I'm thrilled to say that Project L will have a playable demo at EVO, where you can come try out the game on the show floor. We'll have four champions available, no sign-up required. Whether you're attending or not, look out for another update with more reveals soon. In the meantime, Go check out this full 2v2 match between four of our devs. Link in the description below. Thank you all for watching, and see you in Las Vegas. Dude, uh, fighting games are sick, man. What's up, dudes? Max here, and oh man, I think you guys have been waiting for this one. So over the past week or so, I had the opportunity to go down to Riot Studios and with uh, several other friends and colleagues in the content creator fighting game spectrum, we were able to check out and finally play 
one of the most anticipated fighting games I think of all time, Project L. So I kind of want to go over in this video uh, core and base impressions. They did give us some B-roll and matches to kind of highlight and show off the game. Please have this running in 4K if you possibly can to see how good the game actually looks. And uh, yeah, I want to give you sort of a rundown of what's in the yeah, game yeah, 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 yeah. and then talk a bit about my impressions of the entire experience and where they so, could possibly So are we looking at the same from footage from forward. before? So quickly covering our bases for anybody that doesn't know, Project L is no longer a 1v1 game that we first saw many, many, many years ago before 2020. It is indeed a tag team fighting game, a two versus two game specifically. And one of the most interesting things that Project L is going to be doing that hasn't been talked about too much and is going to be revealed very soon is the fact that this is a 2v2 game and yes, there is proper duos. You can have they gave us like one four matches controlling to oh. one character on each team and fighting each and other the different, they're not. offline in whatever scenario you can possibly think of. The other thing that the game does have is the ability for you to play solos versus duos. So if you want to control both characters on a team like a traditional tag team fighting game, you can. Or you can play against other people that are piloting the two characters at the same time. One person on one character and a person on the other character. So... There can be a mixture between like solos and duos if you want to carry your friend. If they're not, this look a lot cleaner in terms of effects than the previous video, or is it me? Um, this is like a raw gameplay video, specifically great at fighting games. Like this, this is like four, recorded in 4K. For that this makes a lot of sense. For I feel like Max's video is is this is like a YouTuber video. Uh, Justin's Justin's video is like a streamer like walk like it's like a walkthrough. Me and I think of like what exactly is happening. Videos, uh, whereas, whereas in the past. Max's video is like this no is like a YouTube. You know what we, I mean? We sort of saw this. It seems like all the characters have like the same, like the, they have the same like buttons for the moves. Oceans. The game is four attack buttons technically between light, medium, heavy, and tag. And then you. No, they're doing a fighting game and an MMO. The MMO is like probably. One, and then I think it's like two. five years out. So between. Back Dude, I wonder if like having back certain back, combos you know? of characters like the defense stuff for like tags and stuff, you get special tags. Or maybe interesting. Maybe that's decisions. bad. There's a lot of defense. Maybe maybe that's bad because it gets unbalanced. I'm 13 minutes into this video. Describe the red bars. I think the red bar is. Project L. So from from what it looks like to me, it's red bar is like. And going into some of my impressions, of it's like what's damage going on here and the roster and the characters, which is obviously like we're gonna see. A and then lot the of white bar is the like roster. damage that's already occurred Darius in the, the middle of the combo. Because he's sort of like, you know, the, the most like rock solid. It feels it feels like he's been in the game for a while. While Ari and Echo took a little while to get used to. Ari's kind of like you know the Wolverine of the game in many ways. He's got a lot of unique tools. We're gonna be seeing more on these characters and. Echoes ridiculously crazy and uh, lots to wrap your head around, but still a pretty decent like beginner character. Um, I don't really want to get into the individual character stuff because I feel like we're going to have a lot of opportunities to do that in the future. I just want to talk about overall it looks like chip damage. I think yes, so. What happens is whenever you swap them out, the red heals. From what we had played. And what I just explained to you for 13 straight minutes, it's a lot, bro. There's there's a lot of stuff in this game that is feeling like it's directly made for fighting game players. Red bar is timer the so video. many of these mechanics sure. inherently. And as we were playing it and figuring out stuff the characters could do, I couldn't help but sort of be taken back by how intrinsically fighting game player focused all of this is. And while it is kind of refreshing to see a fighting game go completely ham on mechanics and all of this stuff, I kind of wouldn't be surprised to see some of this stuff toned down because this is a degenerate game. It is a game where you are going to get opened up non friggin stop. And especially when people start getting used to this handshake tag stuff like constantly. Oh, yeah. Ribbon's got to be playable, right? right? If anybody has seen Power Rangers, bro, if you've seen how that game works and how you mix people up, it is very similar in Project L. So there's there's a lot of crazy mix up opportunities that happen almost like like haphazard three every second that I'm like who's blocking this stuff man who is even going to block this stuff and yeah you would think okay you got defensive mechanics though however in my experience this game is like front loaded with absolutely ballistic offense but it does have a lot of defense and the so so is, is what Max saying basically what's gonna happen is you're gonna have the fighting game players and then you're gonna have the League of Legends players and it's basically just gonna be this welcome to the real world Welcome to the real world! Okay, that's a cheap move. <laughs> I, that's a cheap move. Welcome to the real world! 
Time to learn! You gonna learn today! You gonna learn today! No, you're not you're using a cheat move! No, you're using a cheat move! You're using a cheat move. I'm done playing now. <laughs> You're a freaking jerk! All you keep doing is that. That's freaking not fair. That's all you're gonna do. Did they say Jax? Did they, did they say? Did they say Jax is not gonna be in the new Mortal Kombat? He is. Because I saw this all confirmed char characters and Jax wasn't in here. See, it's confirmed cam cameo is Jax. What was the cameo? I mean, who would I play? I'd probably play as Johnny Cage, Liu Kang. Is it who I would want to play as? Raiden, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, one of those. Parries Frick. can be whiffed. The uh, push block costs meter. And at the moment, meter's kind of hard to get. So I, I do hope that- Oh, that's the same thing Justin the was saying in his video. The game currently, that that's the same thing Justin was saying in his video. High risk. I think they've nailed the art style. They've, done, they've come up with something- The art like looks really good, man. Just looking at this game, know, this is a fun game to look at. Games. And I, I'll, I'll be I honest with you, even not knowing exactly what's going on, it's kind of mesmerizing to look at this. Uh, especially with like Echo, Ari, and Darius. So I think the best looking character in the game right now is Echo. I just can't believe how great his secondary animations are and the way everything feels and looks. It's so good. And Darius has a huge amount of weight and impact to his attacks. I am not concerned about how dope the characters are going to look in this game and how they're going to feel because... So far, with every single character that has been playable, man, they have nailed it. It's very exciting, and the good part is that the devs were super open to feedback. Granted, this is going to be a big esports game eventually, and we know that, but they have so been why saying so slim? time and time again uh, that not we have to make weights. a great game first before it's becoming an esport. So they get it. It's obvious that these devs understand that we're, they're looking for like high level feedback, even at this point in the game, where they're still figuring out systems and how. Let's go versus fight. Someone how in Valorant they call it a spike instead of a bomb. It's brand safety. Things work, and we were able to be honest and true, truthful about dumb. Who cares about a lot of this stuff? And yeah, the defense seemed to be one of the things that kept popping up every once in a while when we were talking to people and how how the game sort of plays. So yeah, I'm very much looking forward to seeing how all this stuff. Like who cares either out. way? Do not anticipate we're going to be seeing this thing coming out anytime soon, and they are still figuring out the core system. Like it's like whether you say let's go or whether you say fight. This guy's wielding this massive axe and slamming it into this girl's head. Like, Obviously, hello? What the heck, the roster and all that it stuff is, is going to uh, be. The word doesn't matter. I mean, on, it is what it is. Anyway, I can't keep talking your guys' ear off. There's going to be so much more footage and even more stuff that I can talk about at a later date. So stay tuned. We'll be covering Project L extensively and also checking out how things are going to go down at Evo because there's probably going to be a whole bunch of new information and things to see. So I can't wait for that. So yeah, I, that, that kind of stuff doesn't matter to me either Project way. L information and news. As I, soon I don't as care what they say. I don't care. I don't like care that. what. Thanks they, a ton for leaving a comment or a thumbs care. up on this video. As you know, it helps out the channel a ton. And thank you guys for checking out my project l first impressions which is crazy to say considering how long we've been following this game until then my name is max and i'll see you guys next time yeah i think i think justin and max's videos were, were uh really really nice to watch both of them i mean dude here, here's my thing man uh I'm, I'm excited for project l i'm excited to go to evo and irl stream at evo so if you guys are if you guys are paying attention to evo stuff or i mean you guys just like watching my irl streams i will be at evo in Las Vegas. So we'll be doing some Las Vegas streams for a few days. A lot of stuff going on in the second half, half of the year. A lot of stuff going on, IRL events, everything, games, working on tailgate stuff, everything, right? But I'm excited for a lot of games too, right? Like Project L and and I, I've been playing Street Fighter lately and, and you know, we got Madden coming up. There's just so much around like on the horizon here that we have to be excited about. So I'm just, hey, I'm happy. I'm happy. I got, I got games to play. I got things to watch. I got things to do. It's going to be a hell of a second half of the year. Anytime we're doing something, anytime we're doing an event or anything like that, make sure to check out the schedule on Twitch, right? You can X or dollar sign schedule in Twitch chat, and then it'll show you that. Discord, YouTube, Instagram, Reddit, Twitch, Twitter, everything is SFANTV. So follow everything, sub to everything, join the Discord, follow my Twitter, uh, check my Twitter, Instagram, everything for updates, threads even, all that stuff, even though I haven't posted there yet. But, um... 
We got everything. Everything is S Fan TV. Uh, it's cool to see how excited these guys are to to have like new people coming in and, and to play their games and to watch stuff. So year of the decade for video games, a lot of games, man. A lot of games, a lot of IRL, a lot of variety. The widest variety of content on Twitch, okay? <laughs>